Hey YouTube, um, today uh, my uh, Sierra 2014 um, check engine light, as you can see, right there, oh, I hope you can see it. sure you can see that so I'm gonna check the code what's the problem with that okay plugging port it's under there okay turn the key blinking Okay, PO6DD. Okay, uh, manufacturer specific definition is not available, so uh, go check uh, obd2.com. Okay, YouTube, uh, today I'm gonna change uh, the oil sending unit or oil pressure sensor on this. Uh, Sierra 2014 5.3 um, it's under the troll body so you have to uh, remove uh, this thing here uh, you have one collar to unscrew here one here and you re need to remove this and this to get uh, to the oil setting unit so let's start this 516 socket To remove these O's, you push on the plastic lock and pull, just like this. Just like this. Uh, this one's going to be stuck there for sure. This one should be pretty easy, like that. Here it goes. Okay. Now. This here is the oil sending unit. And the other one there, I don't know what it is, but this is what I need to change. So I'm gonna take this off and I will change the uh, PCV valve since I'm under there. PCV valve is right there. I'm going to change this. And by the way, two catch can set up, two catch can in line, goes in, out, in, out, back there. And a transmission uh, oil filter, remote one. Okay, when trying to remove that connector, you're going to have fun. It's impossible for me to see the mechanism of uh, the clip. Uh, locking it in, in place. The only uh, thing I was able to do was taking vice grips, going onto the sensor and unscrew it. It's not really tight. So now I can turn it and see how the clip works. And now I'm going to be able to remove the connector. Ah. 
okay finally uh, I just unscrewed uh, that sensor with the wire still on it I still have to uh, figure out how is working the uh, locking mechanism on this one okay I think I see it now I think I have I don't know if you can see this I think I will have to push that tab and the tab is going to tilt and the notch will be free let's see ain't fun for sure I don't have a pick okay have it so I hope that uh, oil sending unit is my problem for uh, P06DD engine code for uh, this sending oil unit uh, Sierra 53 2014 this is the part number you need Okay, putting the uh, new sensor by hand. <sighs> the older model to uh, 2008 was uh, 11 foot pound. I found some uh, 6.2 liters asking for 26 foot pound. Uh, it was not that hard to uh, free that sensor, so I'm gonna go with 15. Uh, I'm gonna use a 24 millimeter socket. Working perfectly for this. Screwing it by hand first. Using this little torquer, torque wrench. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, that should be enough. Mm -hmm. And now I'm lucky that the tab will be on the top. Yeah. No. So I'm gonna put back the clip into the connector. So plug it in, it's in, and I can't remove it, so I'm not going to use that stupid lock. Connect the other one beside. So you push. Feel the click, hear the click, and push the red tab. That's the locking mechanism. I got two in my case. In my case, there. Yeah. The last, last one. I I'm going to. So oil sending unit is changed. 
now going for the PCB valve that is right there so gonna remove uh, the hose the clamp here and uh, just for preventive maintenance going for the PCB valve Look at that nasty tube. This is the PCV valve. Still, this is the part uh, PCV valve you need. Uh, Sierra 2014, 5.3 liter. Exact. This is the uh, OEM part, the same socket that I used. And I'm unscrewing it by hand. As you can see, it's not really tight since it's in plastic. still probably good it's kind of stuck and full of oil and water vapor so this brand new one as you can see is working very good So I'm just going to screw it by end, like the other one was. That's it. 24 millimeter. Put back the hose. Screw back uh, the clamp. Okay, so everything's in place now.
putting this back. Okay, it's locked in place. One. Whining sound. Like a power steering, no more. Okay, so whining noise disappeared, and now V4 mode is back. It was off since I had that code for three four weeks. Now after changing uh, PCV valve and oil sending unit, problem solved. Everything back to normal. Yes sir. So no more PO6DD. There you go. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Maybe you can share this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, thanks for watching.